What's up, all the peoples? It's Ridiculous Badger coming at you from the planet where I live on, and that these days happens to be Earth, as I'm sure you could see by the backdrop. Um, yeah, this is this is where I live. This is um, this is glamorous New Jersey. Um, and I'll tell you. Look, forgive me. I have. I have notes. I have things I want to do. What are we going to be doing tonight? Let's talk about what we're going to be doing tonight. We're not going to be opening the app Ark of War. I no longer have it. I no longer have it installed. I'm sorry to tell you. But, um, yeah, I'm going to treat this a little bit more like one of my old live streams. I've got some... Look, it's been a year since I quit the game. Amazing. I know. Look, it, the time has flown by. And number one, I will apologize. I am on the original iPad that I started playing Ark of War. By the way, this is up at your local auction mart. No, no. But, um, so, like, I'm not used to looking into... This is the camera. But... It's not centered, and, you know, I, I'm gonna look at the center of this thing, so look, I, I never, my, my channel has never been polished, so, um, I don't care, and <laughs> that's just gonna be the way it is, but what I wanted to do, um, it's been a year since I stopped playing Ark of War, and I'm still somewhat involved in the community, and I wanted to, um, I wanted to kind of address what, a little bit about, you know, my past, um, a little bit about, um, my, my career of war, and, um, and at the, at the end, the, the most interesting part, the craziest part of this video is, um, this actually is fulfilling one of the oldest requests, oldest community requests that I make on this channel. And I'm gonna do that here tonight. I'm gonna do that face to face with y'all. Um, and stay tuned for that, or or don't, you know, close this video, you know, uh, you haven't, I, I haven't talked to you in a year, what, it can't be that important anyway, you know, right? Um, so look, I I don't know how much I'm gonna end up editing this. It might seem like it rambles on, but I just kind of wanted to gab with y'all, and you know maybe look. The only difference I I'd love to believe the only difference between what I'm doing right now and what I used to do is look. You don't have to watch me hit monsters right now. <laughs> like you know, you could actually look at my face and the, you know, and what a gorgeous face it is. And that that's one of the things that I wanted to do, um I wanted to do tonight because look, number one, I don't have the app open. Number two, I wanted to talk to y'all and I wanted to like actually like you know, Ark of War was a huge part of my life for a long time. You know, for over three years. And I interfaced with many of you, and you know, one of the one of the things that I'm consistently, consistently amazed by is my channel has not experienced a a real drop in subscriptions, which to me is bonkers. You know, like I haven't put out, you know, I consistently put out a product for well, not consistently, but it was the same type of product. It was about the same thing, you know, for I don't know, a year and a half, right? And then I put out a couple of Eve videos, but then I stopped because, you know, I played Eve for a little bit and then I stopped and that's not what this video is about. Um, but amazingly, like the percentage loss that my channel had in sub in subscriptions was yeah like single digits yeah it, it, it was amazing and so look tonight it, it's gonna be a little bit of a hangout we have I do have some stuff I want to talk about but then you know again the oldest the oldest request of my channel I'm gonna be fulfilling later tonight so stay tuned for that. Is that where the camera... I don't know. But at any rate, get yourself a beverage. You know, get whatever popcorn or lentil puffs that you eat. Have a little bowl of them, you know? And throw some curry powder on them. You know, make it interesting. So I wanted to talk about what... What the experience has been like from my... From my point of view seeing like the development of the Ark of War community and like a little bit of a retrospective as to like what 
I was trying to do when I was playing the game Ark of War because you know every everybody who's watching this knows I was incredibly involved in the community and um, you either love me or you hate me and you probably hate me and like I, I recognize that like one of the, the best ways to keep tabs on somebody that puts out videos if you hate them is to subscribe to them so you know I imagine there's a lot of people here tonight or morning or whatever time you know, I don't know, maybe you don't use, like, um, you know, Euclidean time. You know, maybe you have no days or nights, you know. But at any rate, if you're here, um, you probably hate me. <laughs> no, okay. But at any rate, I wanted to, look, I wanted to talk to you tonight about what, um, all those things I said. I don't need to say them again. But also, I wanted to connect with you, like, person to person. And so that was, like, the reason I've never shown my face on this channel here it is, you know, bam. Um, we'll take a few uh, seconds, you know, for you to come to grips with that. No, no, but um, so there's me, you know, I imagine we might have a special guest tonight. We might have uh, Quinzel, my calico cat, who um, who I'm sure you, you have heard on my channel, but um, you know, have not seen as of this well you know if you're on discord you probably seen pictures of her because you know like i said i am still um somewhat active um on uh on discord in arc of war channel so again i have my notes tonight i'm not used to being on camera i'm gonna make a fool of myself and that's just the way it is and I've already made people out of myself to you, to you find people, you know, in the past. So here we are. Um, and, you know, if you don't know by now, my name is Daniel. And um, I am actually a human. Um, and I do not actually have horns. Um, but more on that later. So you might see... Uh, so, like, at least, look, for me personally, a, a lot has... A, 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 I wanted to say a lot has gone in the past year, but look, you know, we've ever, we've all look, we've all been through a lot, you know. But I don't know that a lot has actually happened in the past year. Um, I those who know me, look, you've heard on my channel. Um, one thing that I want, do want to say, you've probably heard on my channel. Like whenever I mention my cats, it's either. T in the past, it's been taking my cat off the desk, and that's always Quinzel because she wants to hang out with me, and I'm sure she'll pop around because she she loves it when I make videos, and I haven't done this in a very long time, so we're we're probably gonna see her tonight. Um, so it's either Quinzel, and I have to take her off the desk, and you'll you'll even if you stay tuned, you'll see why um, why she's na why her name is Quinzel. And, you know, uh, spoiler alert, I'm a huge dork, and, or I believe geek is actually, okay, whatever. Anyway, um, Quinzel you'll probably see, and, um, you've probably heard Quinzel and Jadzia, my two cats, uh, arguing in the past, and unfortunately, one of the things that has happened to me this past year is Jadzia passed away, and, um, you know, it has been a year since I left Ark of War. It is, well, a year and a day. So it's July 31st. And, um, you know, Jadzia passed away on May 6th. And she, um, she was, her whole life, she was a fighter. But at any rate, um, you know, the two of them didn't get along. So, but right now it's, um, it's myself and Quinzel. So you'll probably see Quinzel, um, and yeah, whatever. We're, we're just gonna play it by ear because, you know, we play it casual, you know, over here. I hope you have your lentil puffs by now. So, I, I look, I remember, I remember when I first started playing Ark of War. And I played for over three years. And I remember. Look, I have my whole life, oh my goodness, this is terrible. My whole life, <laughs> I have had trouble getting into games for a prolonged period of time, you know, in, you know, multiplayer. Except for like, when I was a real kid, like I played like X-Wing on PC and I was like involved in online clubs for that. But, um, you know, at any rate, like I don't, it's inexplicable. And I remember mentioning this on one of my videos, like, 
I have no idea why I like Dark of War. <laughs> you know, it's not objectively a good game, right? Um, but for whatever reason, you know, I just like, you know, I took to it. And I really liked it, and I didn't understand anything in it. And, you know, that's the way, like, I, and, you know, th those of you who know me, which is everyone, because it's like, I'm not advertising this video, so, like, if you're here, it's because you're, for some reason, you're still subscribed. It's kind of like, it, it reminds me of, like, those video games, like, way back in the day, where they get to, like, a secret room, you have to stand next to, like, a non-existent door, like, just panel in the wall for, like, you know, three days. You had to be subscribe to my channel for a calendar year after I stopped making videos about the con about the content that you're after and then like you get this like see you're like the door pops open you know that's what kind of what it feels like <laughs> oh my goodness we're so off track we're so I haven't gotten anywhere yet but <laughs> The community has come, you know, you know, and the game has come so far. That's one thing. Like, I remember when I first started, and, you know, again, this is my original iPad from when I started. And, like, I filmed almost all the videos off of this iPad. Um, I remember when I first started, and I found that there was a line channel, and... I remember there were 206 people in it when I joined it. And I know I'm looking, like, to your this direction but um i should be looking there but I, i'm i'm fallible you know <laughs> so um i remember going into the room and going like we like immediately we need a discord channel like that was like my first thing like i've been on discord since day one like i don't see how anyone gets anything done online and i remember posting like hey we got this disc like I, I made a discord server um and that server is now defunct it's not even the diplomacy of war server anymore it was like arc of war discord um and i posted it there and somebody and by the time i posted it i was the 204th person by the time i posted it there were 212 people in the channel and somebody replied 212 people here However many people you have there, we win. You know, I, I remember thinking, like, that's a weird way to look at it, you know? Um, I'm just trying to help here. But anyway, over time, like, I mean, the community has come so far. The community, um, even in the past year, has come really, really far. But I, I remember when it was just, like, basically 200 people online. And I don't want to talk, like, way, 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 way too much about... Um, like, my past, like, I, or, like, my career of war, like, maybe that's another video, I don't know, but I, I don't, I think this is the last one, you know, basically, but you can hit me up on Discord, like, I love talking about myself, I love hearing myself, no, um, I still, to be honest with you, I still watch, like, Arc of War videos, I have no idea what's going on, I still watch, like, um, older Arc of War videos. I watch mine. I watch Melt. Like, you know, I watch Uberox, you know, because some of the friends that I made and the relationships that I made and just the time that I had, like, you know, to date, the best time in my life was playing Arc of War. You know, I really enjoyed it. And it was some of the, it was the most stressful period, you know, for a long time. But, you know, some of the, some of my best friends now, like almost all of my best friends now that I consider like my closest friends, I met playing Ark of War. So it's a big deal for me. Um, you know, it, it's, it's a very big deal. But I remember that. You know, I remember back when Lion, you know, the, the community was basically Lion and it was Reddit, and there were like 300 people on Reddit, and there were 200 people online. And then over time, you know, um, I had started the Diplomacy of War Discord server, and really that, that had started as a, um, as a tool for the guild that I was in to communicate, to prepare for server merges. So, um, over time, you know, I, I reached out to people on Reddit, and we grew uh, the Diplomacy of War server. Um, eventually, like, it, I, I still own, or I still own, I don't own any. I, I still am the, um, 
the primary uh, or the primary the the highest ra- I, whatever I I am the the ranking mod on Reddit um, for Ark of War, and I still own the Diplomacy of War server. So I mean, I'm still involved. But at any rate, um, over time, what we had the Ark of War server, the Diplomacy of War server for it, it, it morphed, you know, and um, it be it, it very rapidly it outgrew the guild that it was supposedly serving. Um, you know, and now, I, I don't know how many people are on it now, you know, uh, some, somewhere in the neighborhood of 3,200, 3,400 people are on the Ark of War server um, on Discord, which is huge. And I remember, like, when I was playing Ark of War, like, there were a number of line channels, and many of them had the maximum amount of people, which I believe was 500. Um, and Melt also had, like, a, a number of his own line channels, and they also were, like, maxed out. And I had a couple that were, of course, you know, far sparser populated. <laughs> um, but, like, between that and the Reddit and Discord, you know, you could very easily say there were thousands and thousands of people that were contained, that were in touch with this network that had built, been built from basically 200 people, you know, in the beginning. And I'm sure there was a time when it was 10 people, you know, because, you know, anybody who's watching this, I'm assuming, is in um, is in the Western Hemisphere. And, you know, much of the power behind Ark of War happens in the Eastern Hemisphere. And so the, the Western community, you know, has always been much, much smaller. And over time, like, my interest in the Ark of War community morphed from how can I um, best serve my guild to um, how can I best serve the community and, you know, separating my guild, as it were, uh, from that. Like, um, you know, those of you, look, those of you who know me know that, like, um, you know, I, for the longest time I was in Seraphim, and you know, it was my second month in the game I was in Seraphim. You know, probably the end of my first month, and I started in a guild called the Ridiculous Ones. <laughs> I was the guild leader. I, um, but anyway, I, I got to Seraphim was my third guild, um, and within a month, and a month after being in Seraphim, I, I was a vice. And so, like, I've been, I was involved in Seraphim leadership for, if I was in the game, I was in the game a little over three years, um, you know, all of that minus one month, I was involved in Seraphim leadership. And I've, I've noticed one, one of the things in, in the community is there a lot of guilds don't, a lot of Western guilds don't have that kind of, like, consistent management for a long, you know, for three years straight, you know, and I started as, you know, an officer, I became vice pretty quickly, um, but, um, you know, at, at one time, Seraphim was three guilds, it was, it was crazy, um, so, you know, so it was a lot of people. As... As like, as SR, as Seraphim, you know, we rebranded as SR became, you know, um, gained more notoriety, you know, I, I myself became more politicized um, and recognized like, you know, when we talk about channels, we talk a lot, like, we'll talk about like Uberox, uh, you know, who also, you know, uh, I don't I don't know where he is now, but when I was playing the game, he was he was management in his guild in STL, um, and we talk of course about Melt and um, you know Melt would had the um, one of the things that like um, that made his cha- that made like what he was doing unique is that he was able to maintain um, for the longest time a. A journalistic stance, and that he was not involved in management in his guilds, and 
you know, um, that's something he's talked about. And it, it kind of it, it allowed him to look at to not be pulled into any into uh, politics and allowed him to position himself in like these like in I don't want to say ground zero like where the action was which was great you know it was great for the player community I my connection to this game was always was always first to my guild and it's something like, you know, if you look at my channel, you'll see, like, there have been long periods where I went on hiatus, you know, where I did not put out videos because, like, my server, uh, we had the server merch or something like that. Or, like, we were about to go to war or, you know, something like that where, like, you know, always, always my number one focus was my guild, like, um, as I played. Although I'll say, like, in managing the Diplomacy of War server, you know, my goals for that server changed were, like, in in the beginning it was about like you know what kind of data can i get about server merges to better serve my guild and then it became like how can we better service the community right so <clears throat> i'll say that eventually eventually what happened is seraphim had a shake up I, again I, I don't want to get a ton into this i you know, realize like i'm looking at the timer now it's at 21 minutes you know, this is insane i thought this was going to be a seven minute video we haven't even gotten to the real compelling bit um <laughs> at a certain point seraphim had a break from its money players you know, one, we had two um, big money players. One had quit, one had left uh, the guild. Uh, we no longer uh, saw eye to eye. And with him, of course, there were, you know, um, I'll say less than a dozen, um, maybe about eight players in total that ended up leaving. And um, at that point, we kind of looked around, and this is something like we've talked about, especially on Melt's channel, where like Seraphim turned more into this um, populist guild where. You know, we were we were no longer beholden to to money, um, so everybody it, it became incumbent on everybody to pull their weight. We of course attracted players who you know had spent a lot of money, but it, they were they no longer had control of management. Management it, it, we had become a meritocracy by that point. Um, and I'll tell you something. For anybody who's played this game for a long time, especially around very powerful players, that's a difficult thing. And it was touch and go. Like, there were... No lie. Like, there were days, like, I... Look, I... You know, anybody who's watched my channel knows, like, there were plenty of days I was up early, early in the morning. You know, um, playing. And, you know, obviously, if I was playing, I was dealing with killed stuff, you know, um... I wasn't. I, I I was in Seraphim for three years. I wasn't guild leader for three years. I was uh, like, I was in leadership for, you know, two two years, eleven months. Um, I was. I, I I forget. I, I was maybe like you know guild leader for like, for like half of that, something like that. But you know, for a very long time, I was like basically de facto leadership. Um, and. There were times, you know, there were days where, like, I remember waking up thinking, like, it would just be easier if we did what, you know, if we succumbed to the pressure and we merged into another, uh, into another guild. There were days when, like, I was an inch from, like, talking to the management team and saying, like, guys, this is not... What are we doing here, you know? And I remember even saying that to to one of the one of the management members like at, uh, sometime later and saying, like, you know, there were times when I was like an inch away from saying, like, we gotta bite the bullet here. Um But I but we never did. And I never like it, I was I was waiting for that moment when we would be an inch away from the edge to to say that like I did not want to say that and 
we never got to that point. And like amazingly, like we we ended up we ended up bouncing back, and we ended up being able to hold our own as a non money a quote unquote non money guild. You know, I say this having spent thousands of dollars on the game. You know, obviously, um, anybody who saw my arc knew I, I spent thousands of dollars. I. I will say, like, I personally believe, like, I mean, you might call this an ego thing, but I personally believe that it was the most efficiently built arc in the game. I believe, for the size it was, I was like 350 million power when I, when I quit the game. And I, I honestly believe nobody spent less money to get to 350 million power than I did because I spent years not spending a dime on the game. You know, I, it was only like the last, maybe I say years, I've played a little over three years. Yeah. Probably the last year and a half I started spending on the game. Um, but I, um, but I, I built my arc in incredibly efficiently, um, because, because of the people that I came in contact with, like, and what I wanted to do is, like, I wanted to learn how to play this game properly, and so, like, I was not... I, I'm not the best, you know, math person, I'm not the best computer person, but I will, I will... I will ask questions until I'm confident I understand it. And like, I did not want to make videos on subjects that I did not a hundred percent understand. And over time I became involved with, uh, with a very, 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 um, smart group of players, um, called the theory crafters that I'm sure all of you know of that are affiliated with the uh, diplomacy of war discord server. And, um, you know, that was, that was because I begged Krylar. Like I, I promised him the moon. I was like, whatever you guys like when I became, when I came in contact with the theory crafters, they were online chat and it was just a group of people that talked about, you know, equations. And I didn't know what any of it meant. And like, but I would ask questions and they would, an you know, they would answer my questions. Holy crap. Yeah, this is great. So I would ask questions. I remember like prominent members of the community were there. Like I had not started, you know, making videos at this point. Melt was there. Krylo was there. VGT was there. But it was basically a lot of old Hydra um, from... can't even remember servers anymore what the hell is wrong with me um oh this is terrible anyway whatever i would ask questions and other people would ask questions mainly let other people ask them questions and i would kind of um i would look at you know what they were saying and we try to understand it and um a couple of server merges had happened by that point. And so, like, you know, the Discord server had grown, you know, like, maybe we were at, like, 800 people by that point. And I, like, said to cry, look, you can't, you can't research anything online. Like, look at this. There's no consistency of, like, task management. <laughs> this is how I appeal to him. I'm, I'm a bureaucrat, you know? I'm, like, anything. On Discord, I promised in the moon. I'm, like, anything you need. Like, we will give you, because I recognize, like, they could have just made their own fucking Discord server and been a private group, like they were up until that point. But I, I had this, I didn't understand it yet, but I had this, like, idea that the more interaction that we could get between the theory crafters and the community, and the easier I can make that interaction for them, um, you know, the better it is for everybody. Because, like, I wanted western players to understand the game like the way the eastern players seem to understand the game for western players it was always very difficult and i'm not going to get into why you know if you're a western player you're watching this channel you know you know um you know but i'll say like i mean it's been an incredible journey i could i could talk about this forever you know, and look, if you know me, hit me up on Discord. I'll talk about it forever, you know? I love to talk about this stuff. You can see it. I haven't, you know, I love to talk about this stuff. But I'll say, like, um, my my values changed over time. Um, 
And anybody who anybody who interacted with me knew, like, you know, at a certain point, like, I became, you know, I became politicized. And I take full responsibility for that. And I knew it was happening because, number one, like, I saw my primary, uh, I saw my primary responsibility, even in spite of the work that we were doing on Diplomacy of War, my primary responsibility was always towards Seraphim. So, look, I... Over time, look, I changed. Um, I'm still changing. Do you yeah, look? I'm a difficult. I, I understand. Like, if you dealt with me while playing Ark of War, look, I was a difficult person to deal with. You know, <laughs> like, I, I understand. And if you were in Seraphim, I probably asked you like way too much. You know, I probably like hammered crap at you. You know, I'm sorry for that. Um, this isn't about apologies, <laughs> but at any rate. Over time, like, my values changed, and they're, they're still changing, and I've learned a lot. And, look, I was, I was younger than I am today. You know, to quote Al Capone, I was younger than I am today, you know, um, and I thought I knew more, right? <laughs> um, but, you know, nowadays, I'll say, like, I, I abhor conflict. Like, I try and, like, you know, evade conflict as much as I can, Um and, like, do I have... I don't want to get into it. Do I have regrets about the way that, like, you know, certain things that I did or might have said or enemies that I made or, you know, how how I spoke to people? A hundred percent. I have regrets. I used to say about my life, like, I, I live like I have no regrets. It's such a fucking kid's thing to say. I have tons of regrets. Um, if I went back in time to, like, the start, would I do everything... This is Fuck no, I would do everything the same. You know, I would change a ton about what I did. But you don't have that luxury, you know, as you're going through life, you know. And whatever, what can I say? I would do things differently now. Um, but would I be more successful? Or would Seraphim have been more successful? I don't know. Um... And that might sound like a cop-out answer. And like I said, you know, I'm really not apologizing. Um, but but the reason, why am I not apologizing? <laughs> Sorry, 32 minutes. Why am I not apologizing? Because I think it's a cop-out for me to like get on here, be like, oh, I'll show my face and I'll give a blanket apology. And to me, that's ridiculous. Like if I have something to apologize for, um, you know, it should be like, while I'm cognizant of what I'm apologizing for, you know, I can't just be like, I'm sorry for the last five years, you know, and but there were things that I think that I executed well on, you know, I think that, um, I believe that Seraphim was very successful. And, you know, some of the best time of my life was playing Ark of War. And I made some of the greatest friends of my life playing Ark of War. And if you consider yourself my friend, if you consider me your friend, you're right. You know, I'm, I am. <laughs> if you, if, and if you're my friend and I, you became my friend while I played Ark of War, it was not because I'm friendly. You know, it was probably because of you. <laughs> you know, it was probably because you're great. And if I became your enemy while playing Ark of War, it's probably not, it, it's probably because I was a dick, you know, not that, not that you did something, you know what I mean? Um, and I'll put that out there. And you know what? I think that people get like into their games and like, it almost becomes like an RP aspect, but at any rate, like, um, look, there are a lot of high, highly stressful days and nights. Would I have done things differently if I went back? Sure, but I'm older now, you know? <laughs> I know more than I did before. But um, I had fun. I met a lot of great people. I continue to meet great Ark of War players. You know, I'm still active somewhat in the Discord. Um, you know, especially lately, I've been trying to get more active and um, trying to you know, help empower the next ge the next generation of Ark of War players. And, you know, a, a lot of what was great, uh, what is great about um, Diplomacy of War, again, is, um, is the partnership with the theory crafters. And 
you know, um, I don't know why Krylar caved to me, you know, because it took me, you know, I was bugging him for a while about it, you know, but, you know, whatever it was, um, I do think, like, over time, it, it, I think it was really, really great, you know, for the players. And I think that, look, I will, if you contact me and you tell me what I did to screw with you, I will apologize to you. But I will say that I believe that, you know, um, objectively, I believe that I worked hard for the Ark of War community. I believe that, um, I believe that I left it um, a better place um, and a more powerful place, the, we uh, the Western Ark of War community, than when I found it. And I'm not saying that like I did it, but I um, I tried to help, and I know that um, you know sometimes like if you talk to me like I'm not the easiest guy to get along with, you know, and I like to think I'm a little easier to get along with now, um, but I had my struggles, you know, um, but I but but I tried very hard for the community. I love, I love the Ark of War community. I still do. And, you know, um, but I, I do, I am, I am at least able, this is not an apology video, I'm able to sleep the sleep of the righteous. I believe that, you know, um, even though in the beginning, you know, my mission was more towards how can, you know, we develop the community to aid Seraphim with like data gathering, you know, I, I became a full convert. Um, and I did my best for the community, and, and, and I continue to, although I'm only somewhat active in it. And um, over the past over the past year, I've seen that a lot of the developers have released a lot of features, and a lot of these features help to empower players. And I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I understand them, because I don't. Because one of the luxuries that I have is I don't have to know about these. You know, like I no longer am kept up at night if I don't know like how these new mechanics work. And like, I don't know what commanders are in the game anymore. And like, that's that's crazy for me. You know, like to me, that was, you know, I cannot deal with having information that was not assimilated into me. So at any rate, what I, you know, how long will Ark of War last? I don't know. Um. But the player base is in, has a better product than they've ever had. I believe that. So if you like the game, I think that you deserve to have fun from it, you know? Um, and whatever makes it fun for you is great. So I've teased for a very long time here tonight. Well, I kind of stopped in the middle. I hope you're enjoying your lentil puffs, by the way. I've teased for a long time tonight that what is the... Uh, now I can't really say the main priority of the video, but, like, the thing... What is, what is the thing that we're doing here tonight is the... the oldest video request of my channel. And this is something like... You know, normally when people made a video request to my channel... I would be direct as to whether or not I would cover it and make a video on it. But there's one topic I have never responded to. And that's what we're doing here tonight. The oldest video request. So stay tuned.